Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a swap of the B-Board in this iPhone 13 Pro Max that come to my shop with a lot of uh, short circuits and the B-Board. Remember, uh, from the iPhone X and up, uh, the iPhones come with two boards, right? One, the A-Board, the low the upper layer board and then the ones uh, this one the ones come with all the radio frequency components okay so the process is very simple the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the components from the uh, bad board okay i'm going to clean all the this um, like a glue i'm going to clean the glue with 250 and 50 of air okay remember i'm using a quick 8610W, okay, so I'm using right now the temperature I'm using is 250 and 10 to clean all this area. So just make sure you clean everything right and just be careful with the components that is very close. For example, this one in the Wi-Fi, you had to have another like tool. I always use uh, a bisturi, a blade. So I uh, I do the, the blade like very tight to don't move a lot of components, okay? So I'm going to use 250 to clean all this area, all the uh, black glue. And then I'm going to change my temperature. I'm going to use 340 of air and I'm going to do a preheater, okay? For around like 30 to 1 minute, okay? So I'm going to do a circle move. It. I'm going to just preheat the components, okay? And then when um, I have like a minute doing this, I'm going to change my temperature with 390, okay? 390 and uh, 60 of air to remove the Wi-Fi and the, and the baseband. Just be careful in this step, okay? This is so important because you don't want to uh, bend the baseband because the baseband is so delicate. Let me show you uh, one, um, one image that I have here just to show you why sometimes you can damage the baseband without when uh, you are doing this, okay? Check this, okay? If you see, the baseband come with this wire. This wire is little tiny. So when you do this, trying to just uh, take it out, okay? You are uh, cutting these uh, cables inside of the baseband. So that's why make sure you just do a, like a, a little push in a corner and that's it but don't bend don't bend the baseband okay so this is very important thing okay so i have the components out so now i'm going to prepare my uh my board okay this board is from a donor uh, phone so i'm going to just remove the upper layer board and i'm going to uh, separate everything okay I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use 250 and 50 of air to clean all the black glue. And then I'm going to re do the same thing. I'm going to preheat the component, the Wi-Fi and the, and the baseband with 300 of in, uh, 50 or 40 of air for like around one minute. Okay. And then I'm going to change my temperature to 390 and I'm going to 390 and 50 and I'm going to remove these components. This component, I don't care if I bend the baseband because I just uh, want the board, right? This baseband is not working for me, okay? So I'm going to remove the baseband and the Wi-Fi, okay? And also I'm going to remove the EEPROM. Sometimes I can use uh, these tools that they can, they, these tools can read the EEPROM and just transfer the information to the another board. For me, I don't use this kind of tool because sometimes the information is corrupt and you are going to have a problem, okay? So that's why I prefer to just move the EEPROM. I'm going to do that process later, okay? I'm going to clean all this motherboard. I'm going to change uh, the solder. I'm going to put a uh, three 138 pasta, okay? 138 solder pasta. And I'm going to change all the solder from the board. And then I'm going to use my wick and I'm going to try to clean everything right, okay? I'm going to try to just clean everything and make sure um, we can clean all the corners and everything, okay? This step is so important, okay? You have to take your time and try to clean everything perfect because any dust over there can do the, the 
the baseband don't go all the way down or have this uh, a lot of problems when you have to just put it back okay so now that we have these uh, boards cleaning and the area of the components uh, very clean I'm going to start preparing my um, components I'm going to start doing the revolve first and the Wi-Fi and then I'm going to do the same thing of the baseband okay so I have the components ready and the board is ready the first thing that I'm going to uh, put it first is the EEPROM so I'm going to use 390 and 60 of air to remove the EEPROM from the bad board and just put it back to the good board okay I'm not going to do any revolt on this process I always try to remove the EEPROM like that and just put it back in the new board okay and then I'm going to start soldering the Wi-Fi with 360 and 50 of air and then I'm going to do the baseband 360 and 50 of air okay so I'm going to start soldering these two components and then I'm just going to wait to the board to be um, cool okay okay that's it this process is uh, very important too. You have to take your time to put the components in the right direction and try to have it right, right? Because you don't want to, these components to have a lot of movements, okay? So just take your time. Sometimes uh, when you do this process, you always, sometimes, almost the 90% of the cases, you had to uh, put new software on this iPhone, okay? But sometimes you don't need it. But uh, if you do this process right and this one is not working, so remember just to do a restore on iTunes, okay? But first you have to talk with your customer that they can lose the phone, right? Because if you can't fix the problem, uh, the phone is just going to stuck in the uh, Apollo. Okay, so that's it. Right now I'm going to try to check if this phone is working and I'm going to put the password and if you can see say no sim and we have Wi-Fi and we have the serial number so that means this phone everything all the process is perfect this is a this is not complicated you just have to take your time and practice a lot because sometimes it's just practice if you if you see this process, we don't uh, think a lot. It's just process and hand skills. So that's why you have to uh, practice a lot, okay? So I'm going to leave all the temperatures that I use in the comments below. And that's it for this video. I just had to put it back these uh, boards, but I'm going to do maybe next uh, another video doing this, okay? So don't forget to leave your comment and see you next time. Adios.